Hello YouTube, we are back for another installment of the Action Comics Conservation. Now, I laid the cover flat after removing it from the interior of the book. I really am unhappy with the quality of the paper itself, meaning that it is brit a little brittle and it is dried out. So I am gonna use solvents in order to remove the tape, but before I do that, I want to slowly introduce some humidity into the cover, because I just don't wanna pour Bastine, which is the solvent that I use, into the actual or on to the actual cover because this cover is extremely dry and I want to do it slowly. So how are we going to do it? We're going to use my humidity chamber, which is a fancy word for just a tub from Target. And as with the other uses of my book, or my humidity chamber, not book. I'm just gonna put one bottle of Poland Spring, which is 16 ounces. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to place several grates into the chamber. So we're gonna put one, we're gonna put two, and we're gonna put three. And the reason why, as indicated in the past, that I put several grates is to prevent the actual water from touching the cover itself. Next, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the cover and I'm gonna place it on a piece of Reme paper. And again, the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to slowly introduce moisture to the cover before we start the process of soaking it in Bestine to remove the tape. Then I will place another piece of Remay paper on. And then all I'm gonna do is close the hefty container We'll seal it up, and I'm gonna keep this in for approximately 24 hours. I'll check it periodically, and from there, we will take the cover out, assess it, and then we will start the tape removal process. So I hope you enjoyed this short upload. Stay tuned, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. I have the action comics out of the humidity chamber, and I am happy with the results. The paper feels more supple, and I want to start the tape removal. One thing that I want to do, though, is I want to try to attempt to remove the tape off of the back cover first without any type of solvents because the paper is very thin excuse my fingers the paper is very thin and I don't want to run risk of it being destroyed and when I say thin it's thin because of the bug biting or, or eating that happened excuse my dogs so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to film the process that I'm going to do, and I'll show you how I'm gonna do it. So I have the cover on my trusty piece of glass, and this portion of the cover is just taped, so it's nice, it's taped on there. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tack iron, and I'm gonna heat it up. And then after we heat it up, I am going to 
use my razor and we're gonna slowly peel away the actual tape and it will not remove the adhesive. We're gonna use the Bestine to remove the adhesive. And we're also gonna use the Bestine for the front of the cover. So as you saw right now, I did heat up the tape and hopefully the camera is picking this up. So then what I slowly do is just take my knife and I gently go back and forth and I try to keep the blade as flat as possible. So right there, I broke through. So I removed, and again, I hope the camera's picking it up. I removed that piece of tape from the back cover. So I'm gonna do that whole process going up all the way until I get to this section right here. Because once I get to this section, I can cut it because it looks like the cover is connected right here. So this is the process and this is what I'm gonna do. And let me do another section to show you how this method works. And remember, I am not removing the adhesive. The only thing that this is doing, it's removing the actual tape. The adhesive will be removed with the Bestine chemical. And we will soak the cover fully in the Bestine because in the past when I used Bestine, what I noticed was that it does stain the actual cover. So you have to be very careful when you use Bestine. So this is gonna be a slow process, but if you're patient, you can do it. You have to take your time. You can't grill it, you can't manhandle it. And whenever I feel that I'm getting impatient, what I'm gonna do is you walk away because when you walk away and come back, you will feel refreshed and you will not feel that you have to rush to remove the tape. It's slow and steady, that's the way to do it. And as you can see, look how the blade is going through and I have very little paper loss at all, okay? So it's working successfully. So I'm gonna continue this process and I have all my tools here ready. I have my mini spatula and then we'll go up. And what you wanna do when you are going and you're continuing removing the tape, what I wanna do is I want to take my curved tweezers and I wanna peel off or I, I wanna remove the pieces of the tape that I loosened up because really they just get in the way and you don't want it to flop back down and reattach itself. Okay, so if I remove it like that, then I'll just cut it with my razor blade and then Voila, we can get rid of it, okay? So that's gonna be the process, guys. It's gonna be a slow, tedious process, but I am happy with the way it's turning out. And I'll be back in a flash and we'll continue this process and I'll give you an update. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, we're back. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to step two. And step two is I'm moving to solvents because I was able to remove the portion of the tape here with Bestine. Now I'm gonna do something a little different. Instead of soaking it, what I do is I dip my brush into the Bestine, I hold the cover, and I slowly jab the bristles 
underneath the tape. I was able to lift a little corner and then I slowly go back and forth with the bristles just like this. And I gently massage the brushes underneath the tape. And my main goal here is we, we have to keep as much graphics as possible. And I know the camera is not picking it up. I'm sorry. So let me try to do it without the camera in the way. There you go. I'll do it from this angle. So right here, I was able to lift the portion of the tape by gently moving it underneath the tape. My main goal is to keep as much graphics as I can. There is a center of the, of the actual spine of the book that I see that is coming up. But for me, the spine was very thin where the tape is on the bottom. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to save it. But the key thing is I want to save every little piece of graphic on the front cover. And this was a mistake that I made with the Hulk 181. I should have done this with the front cover uh, uh, when I did the conservation, but heck, you learn every time you do something. And right now the tape for me is coming off very nicely on the cover because those colors, the graphics on the cover to me are gold. And the more that I can keep, the better the conservation project will be. So again, I hope the camera is picking this up and I'm just taking the brush. This, this brush is underneath the tape right now. And I'm slowly using the bristles of the brush to get underneath the tape and to remove the adhesive and the tape and it's working, I have to say, beautifully. You just have to take your time. Look at that big chunk of tape that's coming off. Let me regroup, let me get this camera maybe a little bit better in perspective. We'll move it this way. Let's make it a little bit bigger on the screen and let's continue the process because I am happy with the way it is coming out. I do get enjoyment of doing this. So we're using a combination and of Bestine and heat. And look at that, look how it's just coming up. And so far I'm able to keep all of the graphics of the areas that I'm working on on the front cover. If the spine, pieces of the spine come up, look at this, all of the graphics stayed on, very happy. If a piece of the spine comes up, we'll deal with it because we're gonna leaf cast it. And we can't be perfect with everything we do. Remember, this tape may have been here older than me. I don't think so. I think it's relatively new, maybe within the last 30 years or so, but look how this is working. It's really coming up and there is actually, hence far, zero color lift. And I am very satisfied with the results. And I see people online and on Instagram they use metal tools and they, they scrape underneath and they do a great job, different people. But for me, this is working. And I think just by massaging it and getting underneath and just letting the solvents loosen the adhesive, the Bestine is the best for this. That's why it's called Bestine. I don't know if that's the case, but look at that. So right now I was able to save the adhesives, the adhesives, the, the, the graphics to this classic World War II color, color comic book. Let's move it so we can continue the path. And it's working, guys. 
It definitely is. What I want to do, let's do a combination. Let's put some heat on the cover. Bestine does have a warning. Stay away from an open flame and heat. But we like to live dangerously here in Jerry the Jitterbug's workshop. So I'm going to loosen up the adhesive just like that. And now I'm going to go back to getting my brush under here. And right here I see that there is a rip in the cover. And this is most likely why the tape, well, we know why the tape was put on because the whole cover, the whole spine was ripped. So we got this loosened up, look at that. So what I wanna do is I wanna try to maybe get rid of the bottom portion of the, of the tape here. So we're gonna work on this area. So maybe I can get lucky and flip it over. And this is the portion of the spine. That so it's completely split, guys, okay? And it was, it was held on by a very thin layer of paper right here. I don't know if it's picked up, but this was eaten by the, by the bugs on the other side. So it wasn't even a full piece of paper. So what we're gonna try to do is let's just get this bottom tape work. Let's remove the adhesive just like that. And we'll continue with the Bestine and let's forge ahead. And then what I like to do is I like to, I like to actually spread the Bestine out on the cover just to prevent any type of staining. So there's the piece of the spine that was holding it together it was less than paper thin guys because of these crazy bugs that sometime in the life of this book, they must have had a party thinking that they can beat Superman and they were stronger and they sure did. But one good thing about it is they didn't get the Man of Steel. They only ate around the perimeter. So look, I loosened it up and then I'm gonna put my brush in there and then we're gonna continue working at it. And once this tape is removed, then we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do. Look at that, see how the brush spread the bestine. You don't want it puddling on the cover because once it puddles on the cover, I had a Batman that I worked on a golden age is one of the first times I used the bestine to remove the tape and it did stain the cover and I did learn that you have to be careful with the Bestine, it does stain. But like I said, this is a learning process and I hope you guys enjoy the angle that I'm using. So there's a rip right here in the cover. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to lift the tape on the side and we're gonna come down at the rip. We're gonna come down at it like, a, see this? By coming across to it so I can have the, the actual rip. I'm pushing towards the rip. I'm not doing it where the actual tape will pull at the rip and then it will may maybe make the rip worse. So look, now I'm gonna lift it up just with my knife. It's a number 10 blade that I use. It's a curved blade. It's a very useful blade versus a straight blade. And then here we go. I'm going into the rip and it's working. It's working. And I hope you guys find this exciting. I don't know if I would watching this. I think it's fun or doing it, but we're gonna have some paper loss here, guys, and it's okay, because we're gonna fill it in, and remember, this is not complete paper that I'm dealing with. It is bug chewed paper that is thinner than paper. It's probably half the, half the thickness of paper, because the bugs definitely had a fun time. Okay, so here we go, I'm getting into here. 
it's working and this is a slow tedious process but I am happy with the results so far because the main thing is is that I want to save as much graphics as I can and I'm achieving that goal and right here the paper loss that we're seeing is something that I am okay with because this is very thin paper and what I want to do is I want to cut this let's get rid of this so we can start fresh so what I do is I I take my razor blade a, a straight razor blade and I and that's and I lay it flat on the book like that and then we should be able to remove this whole chunk of tape and hopefully it's removed without removing any graphics and I'll continue this process see this is an example of the tape re reapplying itself so that's why my main goal a lot of times is to remove the pieces of tape without it falling down onto the book again. So there you go, YouTube. We are successfully removing it. Remember, the key thing is to remove it by keeping the graphics. I think that's enough. And stay tuned for the next installment. Okay, guys, in concluding, I am very happy with the tape removal. There is minimum, minimum color that was removed. There was only one spot that unfortunately, I don't know if the camera is picking it up, it's right there on the bottom of the A. But other than that, the actual tape removal was quite successful and the method by which I use, I would employ again. So stay tuned. We're gonna work on this side now, and then we'll figure out what the next step is going to be. Take care. Okay, guys, I just wanna conclude this video in showing that I was able to successfully remove pretty much all of the tape without any type of color loss on the front cover. That was my main goal, and I believe I achieved that goal, and I'm very happy with it. The next step is that there still is adhesive, more on the back cover. And just because you remove the tape doesn't mean you remove all of the adhesive. So the way I'm going to do it is with Bestine. And I'll give a quick example where I will use my glass just like this. I'll put it on one side. I'll paint the Bestine on with a brush. Then I will take my razor blade and it's a dull razor blade or another flat tool, preferably maybe I will just use a plastic spatula. And with the plastic spatula, I will start on the bottom and I will rub the adhesive off and the adhesive will land on the glass. And I'll do that in strips. And then I'll keep on moving the cover over, 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 because I don't want to reattach the adhesive on the paper and then after I'm done with that I clean the paper with the paper the glass with lacquer thinner and the lacquer thinner will remove all the adhesive off the glass easy peasy nice and quick so I'm happy with the results I was nervous that some of these graphics would be removed from the front cover they were not and I think this is going to be a pretty good conservation. And hopefully when I send it in to CGC, they'll recognize it. And I'm not going to 
send it under a different account or anything under that BS. I'm going to send it under my account, I think. And we'll see what they're going to do. Because I'll stand by this work because so far, I think it's going quite well. And I think one of the issues was with the Captain Marvel Adventures maybe was maybe the way the, the cover was cleaned. It was very aggressive or that the leaf casting wasn't picked up. I'm still contemplating it, but let's move forward, everyone. So this is going to go back in the humidity chamber. That's where I'm going to keep it. I'm going to let this sit overnight in the humidity chamber, and I'm going to do a little piece of the adhesive remover at a time, and then we're going to test the paper because I think we'll, this would benefit from a slight deacidification, and... We're not gonna go crazy cleaning the cover. We're gonna try to keep the actual patina. We'll see if it lightens up with the actual deacification, but I, I'm, that's not my main concern at this point, but things can change. So stay tuned.